Hey everyone and welcome back. I just wanted to make a quick video talking about the info regarding the upcoming DLC that we got from uh, Rockstar's side. I mean, it's been a long time since we got the last DLC. So, you know, we are completely bored out from uh, lack of content, I can say, for the old players. But nonetheless, going back to the info that we received a few hours ago, well, it's not much, but something, you know, we can look forward to. And going about, we have this official post from Rockstar's side on their newswire. And they also talk about the PlayStation 5 that's going to be, you know, getting this expanded and enhanced version. But unfortunately, it's not coming anytime soon. It's going to be released on November 11th. Yeah, it's going to be a long time waiting for you guys. And jumping right into the info. Well, like I said, new updates coming to both GTA Online as well as Red Dead Online. So good news for Red Dead Online players. So the updates are going to be coming in the summer months, not exactly in the month of May. And we have not received any sort of, you know, official release date for this DLC. But I don't think it's going to be in the month of May, probably in the month of June. You know, that's what I'm hoping for right now. And uh, most importantly, they actually talk about fan requested additions to the game. So hopefully they have been listening to us. I'm not sure because literally Rockstar never does that. And also the last point that, you know, highlights quality of life updates. I mean, boy, I can't remember the last time they did this. I think just before the CEO updates we got. So it's been a long time, guys. Trust me, it has been a very long time. You know, so many years have passed by and it's about time they got such things done. So that's with the initial info. Going down below, we get some more of this information regarding the DLC. So right away, it talks about the car culture that's going to be brought back to the streets in a big way with a lot of opportunities, fans of performance and customization upgrades to get together, you know, for testing or showing off their rides. And most importantly, take a look at this. Free from interference from authorities and the other troublemakers. Mainly interference from authorities, that is, you all know, right? The ridiculously stupid cops we have in GTA Online. I mean, my God. And also other troublemakers. That means, well, we all know the Mark II idiots as well as the tryhards and griefers that just go around killing for literally no reason at all. So hopefully we won't be having any interference from these kind of, you know, annoyances. And don't get your hopes high. It's not going to be an outdoor space, but more like an underground car meet area. As you can see right here, they have just mentioned it on the next line itself. It's going to be an underground car meet area. And there's also going to be additions of local racing scenes. So I don't know how they're going to be incorporating all of this into underground. Or maybe the racing scenes might be outdoors. Uh, I'm not entirely sure how they're going to be doing it. And they also mention about demand for stolen vehicles has never been higher. So if I remember it right, this is just like the import export business, which we had for the CEO. I'm not sure how they're going to be doing this because this is just like the, you know, the music locker and the nightclubs. So they both were kind of repeated. So this, I hope it's not going to be the same as the import export business because that's going to be ridiculous. And then going to the next para, we got the high stakes and high action as crews hit the streets to get hold of the latest vehicles on the hot list so literally an import export business right because even there we had a list of vehicles that we need to get hold of and modify them and then sell them so i literally don't know how they're going to be doing this and they also talk about the new race types where we challenge each other so most probably like a drag race or it might be a different thing too and continuing that they also talk about series of multi-part robbery missions so this is going to be like in you know, a small story type missions that we had in the casino missions or the yacht missions. So any type of those, you know, interesting story missions are really welcome. I mean, at this point, anything new and uh, fun to play is acceptable, right? Let's just hope it's not too repetitive or just going from point A to point B. Those are really, really, really boring. And at the end, they also mention about, you know, precisely modified getaway vehicles will be your best weapons. I'm guessing, you know, the more customized and the better customized or upgraded vehicles is the way to win these missions. That is what I'm kind of, you know, guessing. 
it might be different or it might not be i'm just taking a wild guess right now and we also have just one image of upcoming dlc scenario as you can see this might be the entrance to the underground area we can't actually see anything on the inside we'll just leave it to the trailer or the teasers that we are going to be receiving in the upcoming days let's hope it's not going to take like forever for rockstar to release them and finally we also got a few other info so eight new stunt races are going to be added on may 27th just for us to not feel like completely left out until the new dlc drops so like i said this definitely is not going to be happening on the month of may i think it's going to be next month you know somewhere on the middle of june or maybe in the end of june i'm not sure let's just hope it doesn't take long at this present point and along with the stunt races we are also getting seven new arenas for the deadline adversary mode these are actually pretty fun so if you're interested then you can take advantage of it and then there's also the survival mode which is going to be expanded into the new locations throughout the los santos so these are just like you know filler content i can say the few activities that will be added in the meantime we get the big dlc you know just to keep the game active for that time but yeah there's also information regarding the rdr2 i'm not that much into the game but i'm pretty sure some of you are and this too will be getting few updates in the upcoming days so you guys can look forward to it and finally this also talks about the playstation 5 the expanded and enhanced gt online that's going to be coming oh my god this has been announced long ago and looks like they're going to be releasing on november 11th of 2021 it's like more than a year now. to all those playstation players all the best for you guys you know just the waiting time for you guys and there's also mentioning about you know three million dollars for you guys sadly nothing for the pc players or the xbox players just for the playstation players right now so those are all the info that we have received and hopefully i think we'll be getting a new teaser somewhere in the next week not the present week but the next week and maybe after that we'll probably getting the proper trailer for the next dlc so yeah that's it with this video do drop the video like and also subscribe if you're new to the channel as i'll be making more of these dlc content in the upcoming days so make sure to stay tuned thank you all and have a good day